The iPhone 5 was released in September 2012, 11 years ago, and of course it became a very popular iPhone at that time, with reported 5 million units sold in just 3 days. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, and this is the iPhone 5 from 2012, one of the most popular iPhones of all time, and how does it hold up after such a long time, more than a decade, and can it still be usable or not, we will find out in this video. So as I said the iPhone 5 was released in 2012 with a very nice design slightly different from its predecessor. It is made up of aluminum frame with having some space for the antenna bands under the glass which looks cool. The frame is one single piece of aluminum and possessing the internal parts and screen on the top of them. It is very handy with its mini size and lightweight but the sharp edges make it slightly uncomfortable to hold especially for a long time. The overall metal design and finish made it very premium looking phone especially among other plastic phones in 2012. The screen on the iPhone 5 is a 4 inches IPS LCD with 640 by 1130 resolution and 326 ppi which may seem very low on the spec sheet but this screen in general looks very nice it is bright enough and good looking while using the phone for normal tasks but during video watching i would say it is nowhere near to super amoled screen on the samsung galaxy s3 released in the same year which i will be comparing with it soon and also it is very small unlike Samsung screens for 2012 which were much larger especially the Note series were huge compared to this for example the Galaxy Note 2 had a 5.5 inch screen but the iPhone 5 is just 4 inches with some huge bezels. In terms of speed and performance it is a smooth phone with Apple A6 custom chipset and 3 core graphics. The animations are very smooth and it opens the apps still quite fast enough which is very impressive for such an old phone. So overall in terms of performance the Apple A6 was quite fast chipset and it just handled all the years of its time quite smooth. One thing which always disappoint me is the app support. So there are very few apps remaining to work on it and almost all the essential apps have stopped working on this iOS 10. And I think it can run apps without any major issues except the battery life or some heating issues. But it can still run apps. So stopping app support is kind of a bad experience for some classic iPhone users. Which make this iPhone somehow obsolete in this day and age except for calling or texting. The camera on the iPhone 5 is an 8 megapixels autofocus camera which was sufficient for the 2012 and it takes some nice photos and 1080p video as well. So the camera on the iPhone 5 was among the best cameras of 2012 and there is nothing to complain about. But of course after such a long period of time, 10 or 11 years, the camera experience has much improved and this camera just looks so old. It also has some interesting features like the new USB lightning port on it. There are three microphones on this iPhone 5 on different places. All the buttons are very nice and clicky as well. So overall the iPhone 5 was a very popular and strong iPhone with huge number of sales. And using this iPhone 5 for calling or texting or some music and videos. Its small size makes it very exciting to hold in this era of smartphones where smartphones have very large size screens and very new powerful and exciting features. So that's all about the iPhone 5 in 2023 after 11 years and let me know in the comments below if you are still using one or your grandparents are using for calls or texting and what do you think about the iPhone 5 let me know in the comments below. I will see you in the next one.